working with United States Geological Survey, California Department of Fish and Game, and SANDAG, the Area Government Association, to try and restore pond turtles back into the native watersheds of San Diego County. It's really important before we even attach each transmitter to test it and make sure that it's putting off a signal. Then we uh, put a little dab of 100% silicone. It's a safe and uh, elastic bond. Um, and then we epoxy that over, and that, that water seals it tight and it also holds it on. Western pond turtles are a kind of a shy, secretive species, so it actually worked to our advantage when we were applying the transmitters for the most part. They, most individuals are very calm and quiet and allowed a quiet drying time for the epoxy. These initial transmitters are called three-month transmitters, so we have three months to gather data, but also towards the end of that three months we'll be looking to get them in hand and not only get new data like growth and measurements, but also um, replacing the transmitters so that we can continue to follow them. We're hoping to get data that's going to help us with other populations of pond turtles in San Diego County and maybe all of Southern California. These guys are kind of the test and um, will teach us a lot about how to maybe better help these guys in the wild.